Guys, and welcome to the first ever Australia friendly How to Minecraft season 6 stream. It is almost midnight here in the UK, and I've just returned from a music festival. Now that I'm not at the music festival, I can all tell you. I can all tell you. Oh, we're off to a great start. I can tell you all I was at SW4, uh, which stands for Southwest 4, which is a music festival that was in London. I was just there for today, so if you're going tomorrow, I won't be there. Tomorrow, um, I have been drinking, but only responsibly. And that's a good thing. Imagine if I like turned up to a stream and I was like, oh, like slowing my words. I was like, hey guys, run Minecraft. And just like, I don't know, drowned or something. Who knows? But no, um, I had a few drinks. So that's like my excuse. That's like the pinnacle of all excuses. It's like, hey, I'm being awful at the game today. And then it's like, actually, I have the perfect excuse. I can spend all day trying to get my villagers home. But it's all right. Don't worry. We won't be doing that. We have done the research. And uh, I'm going to be making sure... That if I ever can't stream at the allotted window, I'll try and do like either a really late stream or a really early stream to uh, allow people from other time zones to get involved. Because I almost pre-recorded today, but I was like, you know what, actually, the Aussies deserve some love and anyone who's watching at this time. We're, we've got the late night squad. I mean, it's the weekend, so it's a little more acceptable. But first things first, um, at the end of last stream, I had to rush out to dinner, so I didn't shout out some of the new members. And obviously, the members are what make us a great place. That sentence was top tier. Okay, anyway, thank you um, to Jack and Tommy Eleven, The Nabzy, Evan 2K, Trevin Party, Charlie Holbrook, Caleb Lowe, Toby Driscoll, Jag King, and yeah, I'm going to pronounce this as you, you Rainer, <laughs> you Rainers, uh, Josh Watson, Henry underscore T, Derpy Cat Kitty Meow Meow, these names are prank, Mitchell Brow, Brower, Andrew Lister, someone called. Vic fist me, someone called Boran Ozeren, uh, Blue Sonics Music, and Jordan Maddox for becoming members of the stream. We'll probably be utilising some members only chat at some point today. We also had some super chats in the chat. We had uh, a five dollars from JC Murillo. He said started watching it at twelve years old, and now I'm seventeen. Glad to see you got the same skills, personality, and extreme dedication. Keep it up, brother. Thank you, JC Murillo. I try my best. That's all I can do. And I'm glad you're enjoying. Thank you, Dakiller07, for the $10 super chat. He said, hey, just want to say, love your vids. Been watching for four years. You're my fav YouTuber. Love you, Hattie. Uh, also, I've donated in all the H6M vids. Oh, wasn't that nice of Dakiller to, to, to give a shout out to Hattie? In the midst. Thank you, Jordan Maddox, with the $5. He said, please name an animal, Dequinius, for your baby inside Men's Sunday. That's a good idea. We've got Babatunde, who's Josh's polar bear. I will name something. I need name tags. I've had one name tag this whole damn season, and I need more. I need to name my horse. I need to, well, Tony's, Tony's gone now. I need to name the cow, Troy, lots to do. Thank you, Pentatonics Guru, with the $5. He said, you should build an underwater railway coming from the back of your base and leading to Josh's house and also uh, Speedy and Sides. I think an underwater just swimming route would be really cool. And if you get a dolphin with Dolphin's Grace, we could swim that super quick. Or maybe we work out like an ice sliding super rail. Like with blue ice and boats, you can slide super fast. We set that up in the nether. We could be on something wild. Thank you, Connor Williams, for the five pounds. He said, yo, Vic, loving H2M. How many episodes are there going to be? Also, when's the next Sidecraft? Sidecraft's every week on a Thursday until next week, and then we don't know when the one after that will be. And how many episodes of this will be? I can see there being at least 100. Don't hold me to that, but I'm having fun, and we got a lot of cool stuff down the line. Thank you, Bulgarski, with the five pounds. He said, any villagers, as long as it's not a nitwit, you should take far away from the village, and you can trade its trades, and trades until you like one. And yeah, a lot of people saying use a lectern to trade it, change it into a villager. Change it into a librarian so I can trade books with it. Yes, genius. Thank you, Sharp at 34 with the $5. He said, Vic, carve way down into a river, not up, stop wasting time. I did work that out eventually. Thank you, Speed HD with the £5. He said, you can uh, drive boats on land, just make a path towards the sea. Yep, we did get there eventually. Thank you, Casket YT with the $5. He said, hey, Vic, I'm really glad you're back to Minecraft. I used to watch your old Minecraft videos when I was five. Damn. Started from the OG days. Imrano TV, thank you for the five pound super chat. And now, wow, that took me a whole four minutes. It's time to get back into the episode. And oh my goodness, we already have new members and super chats in the chat. Um, we got Scar Scorpio with the five dollars. He said, is there going to be a Sidemen blind dating too? Probably sometime next year. Craw Re with the five dollars. He said, Google says your net worth is five million. Hey, it's just Google. Who knows? Thank you, Dakiller07 with the five dollars. He said, donating again. Love you, Vic. Uh, thank you, Ryan Klein, for becoming a new member, and let's get into the action. I'll read the rest of the Super Chats and members at the end of the stream, unless I forget, because I do that sometimes, in which case, they'll be on tomorrow's episode. Anyway, these are the best servers in the world, 
How to Minecraft. There's three people online. Who is online? Let's jump on and let me show you what I've been hard at work doing during the day today. Okay. In we go. Who's online? Oh, we got the late night gang. To be fair, I need to catch up with Newt. She's been trying to do some casino dealing, so we will catch up with him. Hey, we got a whole gang on. All right, talk business. So, okay, I worked it out. And it's actually a good thing I failed my mission last episode because it allowed me to spend some time off stream working out what's going on. Okay, so as I suspected, there are two C's in How to Minecraft. Now, there's one that's on this side, and spawn is over there, my house is over there, and that's where we were last episode. And when I saw Pete's turtle farm, I was like, hold on, I can get home from here. And I was trying to boat back. And I went all the way along that shore, no connection. I went all the way along this shore, no connection. And I actually realized that this right here, the raided villager outpost, is actually where these two seas meet. So, uh, Bill the Butcher, as you guys hooked me up with the coordinates, is over there somewhere. This is the raided pillager village that I gave up on. So, wait till you see this. This is unreal. So, I saw this and I was like, absolutely no. However, if I'd have just drifted my boat along this way, I would have seen that the two seas are almost connected and I'm about to commit some manifest destiny <laughs> right here and connect the two waters. Up so they were so close. Ooh, a cat. If only I had fishes, I could get a cat. Wait, actually, I could use a lead to get the cat. So right here, has someone already connected it? Wait, no way has someone already connected it. No, I don't think they have. I checked like a few hours ago. That's amazing if somebody has. No, so yeah, see that is the sea where we found the villager, that is the sea that leads home, and there's this almost pathing right here, so what we need to do is just expand this down this edge here to create a water flower, we need to potentially, no, we don't want to kill any of the pillagers right now, um, we just want to safely boat, build a butcher down a little waterway down here, and we have connected the two, the two great oceans of how to Minecraft. As far as I'm aware, there are two oceans. Okay, we'll need to get the water bucket action on. Actually, will we ever be able to connect these? Because... Alright, let's just create a nice little water conduit. What I want to make sure is that I don't stop here for long, in case the pillagers, villagers make their way down here and come and mess me up. I, I do not want any smoke. I do not want... I do not want to battle. I just want Bill Butcher to go home. So here we go. If we can get to here, we'll be good in the herd. Alright, is this all We're getting there? We're almost there with making this all. Water sources. There's actually like a big floodplain looking thing here. I'm assuming this is going to work. Is this all water sources? No, it's not quite. Alright. If you spam water around enough, you get source blocks everywhere. Okay. I think we're good in the hood. Okay. So, we need to go down that shore, grab Bill, bring him through there, go and pick up our horse from down there, and then head home. And it's going to be majestic. Now, I'm sure someone has already gone for this shipwreck, but I can't help but go and experiment. Experiment? Go and test it. You know, we should actually get on a boat here. I assume this, is, this has got to be looted. The sirens never do stop. Okay, what was I doing? Making a boat. I used all my wood. Aha, wood. Okay, let us get back on the, the, the way. Get farm to flood. Why do I want to get farm to flood? Did I go to Leeds Fest or Creamfields? No. To be fair, actually, let's talk about SW4. Okay, festival, kind of okay. Some, some, some members of staff were super rude. Which was not ideal. Um, I won't name names, but I will be. We'll be getting in touch. Is the boat drowning? The boat's going to drown, isn't it? Unless I water source this all up. I mean, we'll get we'll get through here. Anyway, so yeah. Who did I see today? We got there. Um, saw the boy San Holo. If any of you guys know him, he's an awesome EDM producer. Um, Dutch, I believe. And he's super, super cool. And yeah, his set was really good. He's got a couple bangers. Okay, this has been looted. 
A lot of people were super mad at me for swimming past a lot of these last episodes. I'm sure probably like three or four of them were unlooted, but I didn't know which. And I don't have Depth Strider, so I don't particularly feel like swimming down and kind of looting all of them. So, uh, yeah, San Holo, great. Um, and I actually had a little chat with him backstage. He was like, we need to play some games sometime. And I was like, you know what, I'm down. Um, hit him up. And then afterwards, uh, saw Oliver Holdens. He is a legend of the scene. I actually met, you know, okay. Midnight, London, criminal activity is obviously going down. Um, close that window. Yeah, I actually met Oliver Holdens when I went to Miami Ultra for the first time. Back in 2014 or 15, I think it was 2015. And that was just before he released his first UK number one, Gecko Overdrive, with uh, Becky Hill. Ooh, buried treasure map. Yeah, we love to see that. Ooh, um, okay, Nooch has a plan for the casino. Dope. Let's get the buried treasure map. We don't actually need paper. Um, sweet. We'll catch up with it you once I'm done with your stealing. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, I'll, I'll finish the story. So yeah, I actually met him. We actually went like jet skiing and to a, uh, a shooting range in Miami. There's a vlog of actually that whole trip up on my channel. It's called, uh, it's called, I don't know, something Miami vlog, Vicstar. So yeah, if you want to check that out and see the first time I met the legend that is all the Heldens. And since then, like, I've, I've met up with him like at a bunch of different festivals across the world, Tomorrowland, EDC, um, Ultra, all those good places. And he's just so down to earth. I feel like all the Dutch DJs are the coolest people in the world. Like, you got um, Tiesto, Oliver Heldens. Is Martin Garrix Dutch? I, let's see. Let's Google that. I don't know. Saw him today. He dropped bangers. Is he Dutch? I don't know if he's Dutch. He is Dutch. Yeah. Okay. Don Diablo. I think, yeah, he's also Dutch. The Dutch got all the best DJs in the world. I'm sorry. It has to be said. All right. Please tell me Bill is still here. Yeah, the boy. I was actually really terrified he would not be here. He's like, yeah, it's sad, dude. <laughs> totally did not maroon you here, Mr. Bill the Butcher. This was all part of the plan. Do not you worry yourself. I can't believe I haven't brought an axe with me. That was scuffed. Actually, I could make it. You know what? It's honestly worth making an axe at this point. Um, Everyone's like throwing shade on the boy Marshmallow. Oof. Marshmallow is... I mean, I've never really properly met Marshmallow. Like... <laughs> I've seen him rocking around wearing his marshmallow hat, um, but I've never actually, never actually had a conversation with marshmallow, so I don't know, I don't know, um, so yeah, uh, wait, where was I with that story, so, yeah, I uh, saw, saw Oliver's set, it was super, super good, um, as, as to be expected, for a DJ of his class, and it was like a much more mainstream set, um, a kind of like, a lot of like, old school house and that sort, and EDM, to be fair, I saw him at Tomorrowland. I can't lie, it was it was too it was too hardcore. Like at Tomorrowland, he played like off the main stage and he played like an absolutely insane set, and it was like I was like, wow, I don't know if I'm even equipped to deal with music this hardcore. So all the holdings was really good. Then afterwards, went to see Jaws and Holy Goof back to back, and uh, yeah, actually Jaws, he's a legend. He's a legend. American DJ Sam, homie. I actually. Uh, Hooked him up to play some Borderlands 3 at E3 this year. And I've been for drinks with him in uh, London. And actually, he's not Dutch, but he's super down to earth. So I'll give him props. And uh, yeah, so his set. Okay, then after he played, Example played. Uh, you guys probably know Example. UK artist. Um, a, lot, a lot of good tunes. A lot of auto-tune. So he rocks up on stage... And potentially the worst DJ set I've ever seen in my life. I kid you not. He was either drunk or intoxicated on things other than alcohol. And oh my goodness, it was not good. It was... Right, can we get a lead on a cat? And, and Right, boats are scuffed. Alright, wait, hold up. Okay. Right, we got a cat, which will keep us safe from the creeper or mans. Okay, <laughs> look, uh, it would seem mean to drag a cat across the ocean because people like cats don't like water. This cat was swimming. Okay, 
All right, we're going to take him home, grab some fish, and tame the cat. A cat. What? What? What's love to name? You know, this is Dequinius. Dequinius the cat. Okay. If I ever get a name tag. Oh, see, I want to check this. Ship. Oh wait, I didn't do the buried treasure. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Oh, is it safe to leave Bill out at sea? Oh no, I, I didn't do the buried treasure. I should have done the buried treasure. I got preoccupied. Is it safe to leave Bill out at sea? He'll be fine, right? I, I put him on this island and light up this island. Theoretically, he will be fine. Okay, let's let's uh, let's get some things going down here. Okay, <laughs> I will continue my story once we have. Wait, cat. <laughs> okay, we got the cat out the boat. Okay, you stay here. And, and he'll scare off any creepers, and this dude will be fine. All right, let's go and get this treasure while we're out this way. Because someone else could get to it, if we don't go for it. Um, oh, and I want to light up. I don't have coal. You know what? Can I cook wood in a smoker? That'll be fine, right? Go home. Do treasure later. Go home. To be fair, actually, no, I'm close enough to home. Let me take these guys home. I'll come back, do the treasure. No, you guys are right. You guys are right. This is how I this is how I get in over my head and I lose Bill the Butcher. You're right. I've worked this hard. Home is not even far away this way. I'll go and drop these guys off in the safety of the casa. And then I'll come back and I'll get the treasure and I'll get my horse back. Good call. Good call. You guys smart. You guys loyal. Okay, so example. <laughs> Just <laughs> He was uh, very, very intoxicated or drunk. And he comes on. And uh, he was trying to like sing some of his songs. The, the, the music was too low, his vocals were too high. And okay, I'm gonna give you like a really bad impression. I actually remember what songs he went through, but you know, like it's like, I've never been afraid of the highest heights. This is what he sounded like. He was like, I've never been afraid of the highest heights. Not afraid of dying. And it's just out of tune. He's shouting it down the mic. And he's like, and he's like, is anybody here? Is anybody still in the tent? I don't, I don't care if you didn't come for me. Make some noise. Kiss the person next to you. And I'm just like, what is going on? Is this guy okay? He's like, is anyone messed up like me? Yeah, make some noise. I'm like, this guy, man. I just, I was, I was, I was. Sorry, Nooch just drowned. I was just like, I don't know what I'm witnessing. I have no idea. Is there a way? Okay, you know, what is up with this? This is scuffed. I'm going to have to create a water route here. Um, but yeah, that, I kid you not, that is, uh, that is what example was like. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, realistically, some videos, my dog launched, I was underwater, it locked me out with the brakes. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's an F to pay respect. Um, but yeah, I kid you not, that was that was that was the example experience. And I've never seen a tent at a festival. Josh. Josh. It's Bill, mate. Josh is kidnapped Bill. I can't believe you've done this, Josh. I can't believe you've done this. Bring me back. Bill. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> oh dear. All right, what, what is Josh doing? This guy, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm in Discord, so if you just wants to join, you can join. I don't know what, he's, <laughs> what is Josh up to. Alright. I'm gonna take these guys home. Hey! There's something to throw eggs at a Bill. Bill is to be appreciated. Around here. Yeah, be careful with... Uh, with the Quinius and the lava block, that's a good question. That's a good point you raise. Yeah, I don't know what how, what we're gonna do about that whole situation. 
We'll have to work that out. Um, but yeah, anyway, long story short, example was awful. Um, the tent cleared out really quick. Like, it was packed when we got there. Everyone just left. Yo, the crib looking fire from Speedy inside, I have to say. Damn, son. That's sick. It's like a, like, it's almost like a Japanese pagoda style construction. Um, so yeah. So, example not great, but then we went to see Martin Garrix on the main stage. He crushed it, as always. Absolute legend. So, what have we learned from this story? Example should not get drunk before DJing. Or intoxicated in other ways. And uh, he should not try and rap sing. Okay, the cat's in the boat. Alright, let's think about the smartest way to do this. Gotta get this guy into the castle. I think, honestly, just rails is going to be the best way to do it. I think it is a really good idea. And we got some lying around. I actually threw an egg at your dog. <laughs> now he's chasing me. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, let me carry on working on this whole villager shenanigans. So we need... Alright, let's drop, drop off our junk. Let's get rail and let's get this guy where he needs to be. We failed this many times before. We could fail this again. Okay. Actually, I need blocks. Let's put TNT in the valuables. Alright, let's get... Stack of easy blocks to break. Let's put some saddles, diamonds, emeralds away. Yo, I came with, I came with all the saddles today. Okay. Alright, you know what, I should make some, I'm going to make some more rails for this. One, two, three, one, two, three. What is Josh doing? He's just lurking about. There we go, there's 16 more rails. I should make more than that even. Because I've got them for after. One, two, three, one, two. There we go. Um, so yeah, that was my SW4 story. And then I came home and now I'm streaming Minecraft. Pretty much, a this was a short story by Vixel123. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some redstone blocks to power up this rail as well. Alright. Um, <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> this guy, man. Um, I need a minecart. Derp. Wait, where is my minecart? I do have a minecart, right? Oh, no, I put it on the tracks. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this guy, man. This guy, straight clown. Okay. Right. So. Let's get this out of the way for now. Right, let's get you out of the boat first. By the way, leads don't work on villagers. Loads of people are like, put the lead on the villager. Oh, actually, you know, I'll take him. I'll grab some fish right now. Okay, you know, the cat's still there. I just need to grab some fish. Some fish airs. Fortunately, I fished plenty of these in my time. The cat's somehow gone. By the no, here you go. That was actually surprisingly easy. Usually they run away. Okay, we has we has Dequinius. We just need a name tag to name the young the young gun. Okay. Alrighty, someone said please, okay, well, I'll, I'll get to the super chats afterwards. Alright, so, we're gonna get this guy out and we need to get him on rails. That would be a really good idea. Okay, I think I'm just gonna push him into the minecart and we should be fine. Into the minecart. Okay, chief, chief. Oh no. Okay. Let's get the minecart back. Where's he gone? Yep. You're just... He, look, he's, he's admiring my work. Yeah, I worked very hard on all of this, Mr. Villager Man. But now, the time is... Lit. Okay. Cool. Josh is doing hardcore parkour. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Let's... Okay, let's get him, let's get him where he needs to be. 
All right, to be fair, we should just be able to just, just push him out. All right, cool. All right, let's just send him up and up into the to the spot. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just having traumatic flashbacks to previous seasons of How to Minecraft. <laughs> why do I why do I not trust this villager character? Okay, that's already you know we'll, we'll just replace the lamp afterwards. Stop <laughs> throwing eggs, Josh. He's going to regret that. <laughs> this guy, man. Okay, we want to deliver said village Jermin to here. Can you put rail on that? No, you can't. So, let's get the axe back. Let's get this all nicely arranged. And his spot shall be right there. Um, ah, that's right, we'll just push him around the corner, we'll get our rail back. Could you imagine if I did this across the whole desert? That's what a lot of people suggested I do. And I was like, no sir, this is not happen. This will not happen, not under my watch. Um, we don't need sugar cane, okay. Oh, he's ready to go. No, 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 stay. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. He's, he's allowed to be there. To be fair, alright, let's just put him there. Alright. Theoretically, he goes to the end of here and he doesn't come back. Alright. Let's get the powered rail here. Under a block of redstone just to power it. You know what, let's put another block of redstone here. Keep the power going. Alright, this should be enough to send him all the way. And it's night time is coming. That's when this, this, this practice gets bad. Alright, off we go. Hello? That's not okay. Mate, why? How did- No! No, stop, 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 mate, mate, mate. See, how, how does this only happen to me? You were in the mud, stop! <laughs> no! No, stop, stop, mate! Mate! Why? How does this only happen to me? Like, you saw that, right? There was no reason for him to glitch out of the minecart. Yeah, it's a redstone machine. Fantastic. Now get in the damn cart. Mate! I don't... It's not safe! This guy's not... Bill the Butcher, mate. With, with low IQ plays like this, you're not going to survive the night. And Can you just... Mate. He's in absolute pain. There. There. Success. Okay, cool. Activator... Wait, it's activator rails. Wait. Oh, it's activator rail, not powered rail. I got the wrong rail. It was no, it was my fault. I'm scuffed. <laughs> hey, blame it on the. Uh, <laughs> blame it on the. Uh, <laughs> we'll blame it on the alchemy holes. I'm pulling an example. I'm I'm making a bad example of myself. Budumts. Okay, I was supposed to put powered rail. Activator rail. Who, who even has activator rail? Who even uses activator rail? All right, Josh is gonna look out for him for me. Okay. Um, we want powered rail. Okay, we only have one powered rail. Let's hope it's enough. Full send with the, the powered. I could make more, but... It's alright, I believe. Alright, it's full send. It's time to go, Bill. Night time is dangerous. Rise and grind. I can do this. I've done this before. I can do this. I've done this before. Okay. I, I, Josh, Josh, move, Josh, get out, Josh, no, Josh, why, This is why we can't have nice things. This guy's pushing me out of the way. I will fight you, Josh. Even though my armor is incomplete. <laughs> yeah, you played yourself. Alright.
Sick. Sick. That's hella sick. Alright. Big Bill. Big Billy. Billy. <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's Bill I am. I think I'm the only person that finds that funny, right? I find it hilarious. <laughs> Bill I am the butcher. <laughs> Need that block back. Okay. Alright, he's home safe. No mobs can get to him there. <clears throat> you quite frankly love to see it. It's theoretically impossible for a mob to get to him. Alright. Don't know about phantoms though. Alright. Big Bill. Oh no. Oh no. It's Josh egged him. Oh my, Josh broke Bill by egging him. How do I get him unmad? Unmad, that's the word. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Josh made him mad, Josh egged him. And now he's big mad. Big Mad Bill. Don't make Bill mad. Bill's the absolute boy. He deserves better than this. Oh, I need to sort out my invent. For real, for real. I'm making the extra fences for, for, for Bill I am. I need a name tag. Stat. Does Josh just make a name tag? Is Josh gonna name him? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you big, <laughs> you big man. <laughs> oh, he needs a smoker apparently. Wait, let me see if I give him a smoker. <laughs> Maybe because he doesn't want to be a car. Smoker will make him trade, apparently. Do I need to put it in front of him? Do I need to get him out of the... I'm going to get him out of the, the, the cart then. Maybe he can't get a job from in the cart. Okay. He's going to escape the second I do this, isn't he? Yeah, Bill I am is not, he's not on it. He's not on it. He's not having a good day. <laughs> That's toxic. What do you mean? All right, got some XP out of that. Um, all right, well, Bill I am is home safe. I've got some Nandos. I'll leave some Nandos on the deck. I don't know why I did that. Okay, let me store these back. We have more adventuring to do. Um... He needs, he needs it to be daytime, and he needs to be able to access the smoker. It's not working hours. Jeez, okay. <laughs> ah! No! as well as gone you know this guy this guy means business you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna seal off the floor okay <laughs> bill lives here the way bill just walked over to that bed he's like i'm gonna take a nap here <laughs> he just went straight to sleep <laughs> bill you know bill the absolute boy let's just give bill the room let's give bill the keys to the mansion <laughs> bill truly truly iconic <laughs> iconic bill all right, let's just make sure he can't, he can't run away. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo.
He needs a bed and a smoker in front. Okay, well, we might build him a, like a, his own little room. But for now, let's just give him the keys to the castle, okay? <laughs> Alright, and if we want to get out, we just put some parkour blocks. Um, can villagers open fence gates? I think they can, right? Yeah. That doesn't even let us out, does it? Um, we just do some temporary fixes for now. This is how we get out. <laughs> All right, we have we have a half pipe to get in and out. <laughs> Round by <like> GTA, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm deceased. I'm de I'm actually that's that's like only only in House of Minecraft. Alright, <laughs> just jumping forwards and backwards. <laughs> to be fair, actually, Bill can't go down there, right? Yeah, he would never be able to go down there. <laughs> Bill's tried it! Bill! Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, you ready to trade, brother? Oh, trades, let's go. See, I think I can... Uh, I can swim down. Okay, cool, and that will keep him up there. All right, let's go sell some... Let's go do some deals. Let's go and hit the boy Bill I am up with some... He's a genius. Yo, he's the new Houdini. Bill I am must be a descendant of Houdini. Because Houdini was the greatest escapologist of how to Minecraft. This guy must be a long lost descendant. Who remembers Houdini? So for those of you that don't know, in season one of how to Minecraft, I had an auto farmer villager called Houdini. He was trapped inside a wheat farm, entirely sealed the whole way around. Yet every like four or five days, he would escape and he would just be running around my house. And, and he was Houdini, and we just never understood how. And one day I escaped for good and never came back. But yeah, villagers, they smart, they loyal. Josh. He's just getting easy acro or something. I even, I even know. Okay. Jeez, Houdini back. We got plenty of string, which is good. We got bones. Put the leads. Put them in farming. All right, let's store all this stuff away. This episode has been truly enlightening to the true... Genius that villagers exhibit within the series. Alright, I need one boat on me. I'll give Josh a boat. Give Josh a boat. There we go. <laughs> what is Josh doing? Like, he's not even streaming or recording right now. He just jumped on the server and he's just having a having a chat with Bill. I even can't even. Okay, alright. Um <clears throat> What else do we have to do? We have to put the lantern back. Let's de destroy the trail. Down here. And then let's store everything away. And we're all good in the hood. We get some extra sand. Patch that gap. Okay, we're good. Yeah, trade. Yeah, I'm just clearing my invent. And then we'll be trading with him. We got hella chicken. Yo, maybe he does like Nando's. Cause he like he wanted to buy all that raw chicken, you know what I say? Let's put rails in my. Josh is just grinding acro levels. This guy, man. This guy, man. Five thousand IQ gamer, epic gamer, as you could say. Yo, I also have a lot of TNT right now. Like, if I wanted to go and start some some beefs. Oh, oh, Mitchell, Mitchell, Donald, Ralph. I hear you're uh, you live on a meatball in the sky. Be a shame if someone was TNT it. Yeah, I'd grief. No, actually, no, I wouldn't. Everyone's like, Vic, please drink more alcohol holes and then go on TNT Mitch's base. No, that would be that would be toxic. <clears throat> I need to catch up with Newt. Alright, let me just sell this guy some chicken, see how, see how much chicken he's buying in.
All right, Bill, I am. It's, it's business time. Now you can't shake your head at me now. Bill, I am, mate. Here we go. Let's go. Wait. Oh. It oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not... Ch it's Bill, mate. I just... <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> Bill doesn't even accept chicken. He ex Wait, if I make it and replace it, it changes, right? Because I could have sworn it was chicken. Or maybe I imagined that. I hope I didn't imagine that. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Bang. Okay, cool. So they get different ones every... Bro, XP. Are you... What do you mean? XP, what do you mean? Villagers are OP? Yeah? Brother. When does this max out? Okay, there. <laughs> Yo, he hella stacked. He's still hella stacked in the industry. Wait, so... Now he takes cooked pork chops. I can't really get that. And he... Oh, wait, no. He takes... Wait, 13? Oh, so his trades are getting worse and worse. But we have so much of this. Bruh. Bruh. These villagers be... These villagers are cracked. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm getting so much XP. Why would I do anything else in my life? All right, you're maxed out. Just close that down. I'm baffled. What did they do to villagers? They made these guys XP farms. This guy, this guy an XP farm. I'm going to be able to build a house out of emerald blocks. Bill, I am. The trades are getting better, not worse. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little cooked right now. <clears throat> Bill, I am the journey man. Yo. And he accepts beef now. Brother. What do you mean? This is overpowered. What? Bill, I am the homie. What's he gonna do with all this chicken? My dude really starting in Nando's for real. He wants kelp blocks. I can get so many kelp blocks. Everyone's telling me to shift click, but... Bro! Bro! Alright, let's give him some beef and some kelp blocks. What do you mean? Okay, I think we need to break the boat. Alright. All right, here we go. Yo, let's get this brother some beefy beef, some beefy McBeeferson. Did Josh take one of my blocks? I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had eight. I could swear. Wait, where's he gone? Oh, here he is. You take it. To be fair, Josh could have a block for all I care. This is. Look at my XP. Bill I am is an expert of the trades. So, how often does he reset? Like on a daily basis or something? How do I get him to reset? I guess it's when he levels up. Alright, so what else can he. I can give him berries, I can give him kelp blocks. Nine kelp blocks for a thing. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there we go. That's my block. Okay. Yo, this guy's stacked. <clears throat> I had eight. Yeah, I've got eight now. Yeah. Um. This guy's nuts. Bill's out of his mind. All right, let's give him some kelp blocks. We can make it if we believe. Yo, big Bill, I am. Literally, don't mind if I do just make a bunch of these into blocks. Sorry about the slightly scuffed invent. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're living good in this life. Okay, just go now. All right, we'll say bye in a sec. Okay, Josh is giving me chicken. Thank you. All right, goodbye, Josh. Yo, villagers are nutty on this. You, you, you done with trades for the day? He's, he's like, I'm digging up here. I'm digging up here. Yo, I need to make a chest just for trading with Bill. Well, mate, I'll collect my dollar bills in here because Bill I am got the bills. All right, I'll leave those there. I'll leave this all up here for now. And I'll trade it to him at a later date. We have emeralds for days. For days and days, haters. Best believe I'm selling him all of that. Okay. All right, let's chat with Nooch while we go and do this, uh, this, what do you call it? This treasure thing. All right. Can villagers open trap doors? Can villagers open trap doors in 1.14? Yes, villagers can open, um, trap doors. No, they can't open trap doors. Ah, okay, good call. So we'll just put trap door over the, the drop down. Cool. And then young Bill I am won't be able to escape. I honestly, the dude took me out with so many good trades. He deserves, he deserves the whole floor to himself. Honestly, he's the he's the general manager of that floor of my house. He's the general supervisor. I definitely already had trap doors, didn't I? No. Okay. Yeah, well, Bill getting the promotion to general manager, general floor manager. And what I can do is, if with a button, I think I could hit it so it opens and closes. I think. Let's see, with a button, would that work? I think it might work. I don't know, to be honest with you. <clears throat> with that. Yeah, cool. So I just hit that, drop down. Cool. And that means Bill has the floor to himself. I can even put fence gates in the main thing, and he can't go out of them. I'm just going to double check. Wait, let me just let me just double check in 1.14. Okay, yeah, no, they can't open fence gates, so we can just fence gate the balcony right now. It's like it's like you know, like kid proofing. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's get this. Pull up the chat. Yeah, this has been a wild episode today, I have to say. We we everything has been redefined. Oh, yo, Nooch, what up? Hello, hello? Hello, Earth to Nuchinomics. Mic check. I think I don't I don't hear you. Unless it's on Maya. Nah, I don't see you flashing up. Okay, wait. Uh your mic's not flashing up in Discord. Yeah, your mic's not lighting up in the Discord channel, so I think it may be on your end. But you're chilling. I got time. Got a lot of time. Let's see if anyone sleeps right now. Yo. Mic check, mic check. I got you, yeah. So little, so yeah. Uh, let me just bring the threshold down. Do you hear me? Mic check, mic check. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, no, yeah, I hear you. 
All right. Okay. I think I just had to mute and unmute my mic. Ah, oh, you're chilling. What's well, good? What's well, good? How how how's the server going? Dude, server's hype. Honestly, yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. I've started building like uh, my base, and um, I mean, I'm trying to make it as like unique as possible it's like i'm trying to make it into like a piece of modern art you know like it's like something that like no one's really ever seen before okay is that is that on that like mountain with the uh what you call it the, the hourglass i was over that yeah. way the other day yeah 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 i'm trying i'm gonna try to make that super super big and like when you look at it you're just like just like look into a new dimension i love that just, i love like, that ans answers are being revealed to you for questions you didn't even know existed <laughs> and it's like so spiritual <laughs> okay okay going all out <laughs> love to hear that yeah. okay so quick query have you done anything with the villages yet uh no but i have traveled around and seen like their trades and everything but their trades are insane i just got like uh like 100 emeralds from trading with one dude like, yeah yeah if you've been farming like legit farming you're gonna be so stacked you will be able to m build a house out of emerald blocks like yeah it's essentially. absurd I, and they give you so much xp like i kill like a hundred chickens with a looting sword i get like half a chest of chickens i trade them all to the villager and all of a sudden i've gone up five levels it's outrageous that's right but you can't sell emeralds anymore everyone's like sell the emeralds you can't anymore sadly <laughs> that would be overpowered. That would be road to number one economy instant. Um, yeah, no matter what. But yeah, I I hear you uh, spoke to Pete about casino businesses. Yeah. Ha, ha, well, I mean, I can see so, from Twitter how it went, but yeah, tell me. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go at him with a new proposal. Ooh. Because uh, because what I said before is that uh, it was gonna be like uh, like a, a monopoly essentially, which he, he described <laughs> it as. I, I thought it was more of a conglomerate, but he's uh, he's like it's a monopoly. So uh, because that's that's what I said essentially was that each of us are gonna be making thirty three percent of okay. the uh, of the profits. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he didn't he didn't like that, so I was like okay. What, what percent? What percent proposal. did he want? Hmm? What percent did he want? He didn't. He didn't care about the percentage. He just doesn't like that we have to like all share the same the same profits essentially. Ah. So what, I'm gonna hit him with a new proposal. I'm gonna say every penny that your casino, well, not your casino, but your, your games make, yeah, you get to keep everything that you make from your games. You get to keep, and then all the all the games, all the money that we make from our games, we get to keep too. But the only the only thing is we're all located in the same casino. Yeah, that makes sense, especially when we don't have like TP commands. We should we should build it in the same place so people can come and play a bunch of games. We'll exactly. all do better. We'll all do better on all our games. Exactly, of course. People want to take a break, go play slots. You know, they go play a yeah, uh, play some cards, play some uh, play some roulette. <laughs> I love it's that. Awesome. What location are you feeling? If, what do you think? I'm I'm not sure. I really um, I don't have uh, so don't like. A, I think the nether, honestly, would be insane. That, oh, that could be very high. We like to spend it above a sea of lava, and it's made yeah. of glass. <laughs> oh, the only thing <laughs> I'm thinking so is bad. someone loses a hard bet, and they just yeah. <laughs> break the floor yeah. and drop some, someone into the lava. <laughs> I'm down, though. I think that's a genius idea. I am actually so down for that. We've never done that before. I was going to suggest Sweet. the sea again, but compared to the sea, the nether is so hype, actually. And we mm. can link it up with a network where, like, everyone has a portal that, like... Goes exactly. It would be Genius. so easy to get there. It's like instead of going to the nether, now it's going you're going to the casino. It's like <laughs> I actually yeah, that's genius. Sweet. That is. Um yeah, I mean I'm totally in. Um still got a lot of vanilla shenanigans to be working on, but um oh my goodness, I'm yeah, yeah but like I'm down like when I start getting like more resources and materials and stuff to really Perfect. get involved I'm in that lifestyle. I'm just AFKing at a, at a mob grinder right now. I feel like I'm far enough behind on the server that the mods aren't going to be mad if I go a little bit over. Oh, yeah. Uh, Honestly, AFK. though, I've, I've been doing that, and I've just it's just dawned upon me the best way to get XP is trading with villagers. Like, That's pretty good. Like, get, like, some, like, get, really like, yeah, get an inventory of meats, like raw meats, and go and find a butcher, or make a villager in, in a village butcher, sell them all your emeralds, cash. Mmm, mmm, for sure. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's chilling. It mm. is chilling. But yeah, um, I mean, let me know when you want to start working on it. You can make? Are there circular trades you can make? Like you could trade one guy bread and then sell the bread to another guy and then sell 
the the emerald for that to buy more bread and then you could sell the bread to someone else and just like i would like basically to get think. infinite xp that way like i would like to think they patched it and i don't know how these guys work with like locking out whether they like i think they have like a maybe a daily limit or something i need mm. to work that out because yeah oh no oh my goodness i think they just have like a daily reset oh my goodness oh uh, uh, yeah yeah they, they, well, that, that that's fair that's fair, but I forget what, um, yeah, there's a way to unlock that. I don't know if they changed that recently, though, because uh, the way that they used to uh, lock out is they, they would lock their trades, and yeah. then you would trade them one other thing, and then the one above it would unlock. So, like, it was like a random chance every time you traded. Right. Yeah. Um, now I think they just have like a threshold daily that they hit by the looks of things. But yeah, oh, okay. that's like, if you have a bunch of these guys and a bunch of like raw products, you can trade them. XP hmm. for days. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, no, this is very exciting. This is gonna. Um, oh, I can't. <laughs> this is gonna be dangerous, yo. <laughs> Choco's <laughs> villager so village like... is gonna be dangerous stuff. <laughs> Why? What's he doing with this village? Well, I, I, if he does, gonna try to defend it. Like, do you remember <laughs> in season <laughs> one, he had like the massive village full of villagers, and he had like every single different villager and like hundreds of them. Yeah. Like, if he <laughs> if he does that in here, powerful. Oh, so broken. Unlimited XP and realistically of any item because of the emerald trades. Oh yeah, and uh, you know how you you know how you're supposed to use uh, their trades to get like unlimited diamond armor, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. With uh, the grindstone or whatever it's called, I think it's. Called. Oh really? Because yeah, you get something with a scuffed enchant. You, yeah, you just take the enchant off. I need to oh, go yeah. and get an armor. I feel this is broken. Like how? Yeah. I guess I guess yeah. Minecraft has never been designed to be balanced, but that's wild. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, this is what it's about. It's all about exploits. Uh, my stream <laughs> told me about uh, an exploit where you uh, uh, you go swimming. You go swimming in like a one by one block, yeah. and when the water runs out, you can still dig straight because you're stuck in the swimming animation. Oh, so yeah. You could strip mine on one by one block, and it just looks so funny. Yo, um, you can take that to another level. Um, I'll link you a clip of it after my stream. Um, but um, if you have your a bucket, a water bucket in your offhand, and mm -hmm. um, an efficiency five pickaxe in your uh, like main slot, you have depth strider three boots. You can swim forward while mining, like at swimming speed. It's insanely fast. That sounds insane. I gotta yeah. see a video of that. Yeah, so I'll send you a really clip uh, after it, my stream. But yeah, cool. it's 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 literally what I said, and yeah, it's the fastest way to strip mine without a doubt. That's um, awesome. And that's the I guess that's not even really an exploit. I think I don't know. Actually, maybe it is. Well, that, yeah, it might it might be a little bit of an exploit, but that's still like such a creative use of mechanics. Yeah. I doubt they'll do anything to like change that anytime soon. Yeah, sir. Um, well, good to catch up, and uh, yeah, let me let me know how, what Pete comes back with on the proposal. But that that sure. makes the most sense to me. I think we can build something like super cool all of us together as well. Yeah, yeah, Stop that's the whole idea of it. But uh, I think the uh, the the whole uh, sharing profits thing he wasn't down for, which uh, okay, honestly, I, mean, I think it would benefit him the most, to be honest. But yeah, uh, who knows? We'll see. Uh, so I'm ready. To, I'm gonna be ready for this casino. The casino ball top in the house, acquired just now. Uh, if you want to make some Sweet. quick money before it gets patched, scoops. Oh, what's the uh, what's the plan? I mean, I've got an auto farm for scoops set up. In fact, I should probably go and kill some before I lag out the server. But yeah, you can scoops. scoops. Uh, so that's the turtle shells. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just set them up on. You make an enclosure on sand, with a load of uh -huh. them in it. And I've seen that at Mitch's place. Yeah, and then you have a minecart with a hopper going around underneath. So whenever, because it's when the baby turtle grows into an adult turtle, it drops a scoop. Oh. Um, and sell yeah, I mean to be fair, actually, probably come tomorrow is going to be patched. They probably won't even oh. be sellable because I just sold eight grand worth from overnight, which oh. is overpowered. Uh, Rip. Yeah. <laughs> we'll scuff the economy a little bit on the side and then. <laughs> hey, it's good. We're, we're, the, we're the participators and the testers. It's great. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, actually, I think these guys are struggling. They're struggling to plant eggs because they're all fighting for the same bit of ground. Oh, no. What have I created? Holy turtle explosion. <laughs> Easy swords though. Awesome. Oh no, I broke the eggs. Oops. But yeah, um, all sounds good. Um, we shall build the casino soon. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Super looking forward to it. Alright, I'll catch you about. Good luck. Yep, have a good one, man. Peace. Peace. Alrighty. Scoot City. Scoot, Scoot City.
I mean, just those eggs alone will be enough to, like, repopulate the damn thing. Like, you can probably plant even more. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Population control is a go. Is it done? And we'll have even more scoots. <laughs> Turtle boat. Turtle boat. Um, this turtle is adventuring to new lands. <laughs> Come with me, turtle. We have a mission to do. Okay, you know what? Actually, because it's late on the server right now as well, we may find uh, drowned. Um, oh, yeah, enchanting. I should do enchanting. I'll do it when I get back. Um, I mean, yeah, 36 levels. The XP is insane. All this time I've been grinding like these farms out. I should have just been doing this. We're going to go and do the abandoned treasure. We are then going to um, pick up my horse, head back home, then do some enchanting. And that is a Dabasaurus Rex. What, 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 Dabasaurus Rex? Why have I, how have I made this a thing? Um, yeah, uh, guys, emeralds, are they got taken out of the shop to be sold like a week ago. Someone actually said a week ago, like, emeralds are OP, take them out of the shop. And uh, I linked it to the admins and they took them out. Sadly, you know, somewhat sadly. But yeah, I'm going to go get the buried treasure, get my horse. My horse is amazing. Damn, we might have to work on a project to try and restore that village back to life. Because if we restore that village back to life, we've, we can just ferry them over so easily. Get another villager. Um, you know what? Next episode, I might, yeah, I might go and grab another. Yeah, to be fair, no reason not to. Maybe get like an armorer or, I mean, to be fair, we bring any and we can transform them. I want, yeah, I want like one that can start giving me enchanted books. Have I come too far here? No, I think it's, I think I may have come too far. I oop and I oop. Oh, wait, did I check this shipwreck? I don't know, I'm going to check it anyway. I think I did come too far though. So that's fine. Yeah, I need to get a librarian, then we're living our best life. Okay, yeah, looted. As to be expected, I think I went a little too far. But actually, you know what, while I'm out this way, I'm just going to grab my horse now. Um, No, it's actually it's easier to grab them after I put the buried treasure. I mean, we can actually use the map to... Oh, wait, the treasure's here. Haha. -ha. Oh, I get the feeling it's already been looted. I have this sinking feeling. That's convenient. I nearly went back to that shipwreck. If there's treasure here and it hasn't been looted. No, this is looking like... Ah, uh, no. Maybe not. Unless someone came looking for it and left it. Hey, easy excavation levels. With excavation, when you level it up enough, you can start getting diamonds. It's got to be... Mm. Okay, let's work out exactly where it might be. It's like here, directly here. Unless it still leads here even after the chest has been broken. Is that the case, guys? Josh had it. Josh found that already. And did he destroy the chest? That's annoying. Why was this? I guess there's only so much buried treasure. Yeah, it must already be gone. That's why there's a crafting table here. Ah, that's that's annoying. We got this so far away. Well, the buried treasure is not to be. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was like here somewhere. Yeah, it can't be under the sand. It can't be under stone. It has to be under sand. I mean, yeah, we've like broken a whole lot of this. Yeah, it's already gone. Interesting, so breaking the chest doesn't reset it, unless maybe it's like when the boat is generated. I just realized. I just realized it's when you open the map, it will point you to the nearest one. And I open the map here, not where I found it. I think so it just locked onto the chest that was here. And I have a feeling, I don't know, I'll have to look up the mechanics. I have a feeling, I don't know if this is right, but if I'd have actually, like, opened it up when I was at the uh, other shipwreck, it would have pointed me to another buried treasure. 
Yeah, it changes depending on where you open the map, not where you find it. Okay, well there's one for memory. There's there'll be no way to be no way. I need to, I need to find another map and go back to that ship and open it there. Ah, uh, okay. This is probably this is definitely already looted as well. That was a face palm. In my head, though, I did think that if the chest is broken, that it would lock onto a new one. This is definitely looted, but I might as well check while I'm here. Yeah, it's got to be looted. Yeah. Damn it. No one's going to find that treasure again now. Hey, that was really, really, really hidden buried treasure. Now we really do have to struggle to find it. Okay, I think Horstar wanted... I don't have my leads with me. Okay. Well. Uh, to be fair. Could be worse. Uh, I'm just going to go slash home and boat out again. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, let me bring the lead with me. Um, I'll just grab another boat and head out. I can go back to those exact coordinates. Where are my leads? They are here. Let's keep those on us. And my other boat is here. Alright, let's roll out. You can use a dolphin to find them, apparently. I don't, can you put horses in boats? I don't think horses go in boats. I don't know. You can put horses... I mean, I'll test it when I get there, just to see. We can put horses... Oh, no, you probably can put horses in boats. No, yeah. You guys, I think you guys are right. We'll try that anyway. Hey, more scenic time. That's my bad. That's my bad. Um, I was... I, Went slightly off course for the damn place anyway. Alright. That's a smart idea. Do slash set home when you're out somewhere. Then go slash spawn and jump to your house. And then do slash home to get back. That's a smart little smart little strategy I could do fairly often. I do I do approve of that message. I actually kind of have like fallen backwards between anywhere. But hey, this just gives us more chance to find drowns and kill them for tridents. Although, that being said, we do not see anyone. Do not see any at all. I'm surprised Pete hasn't gone into the scoot farming auto method. Because it was such an effort to do manually to like try and be there when they grow up. But when you do it like normally, you're fine. Okay, my horse is at minus 500... Five, Minus four, forty-seven, eighty. So my horse is way out this way anyway. I wasn't quite in the right area. All right, let me pull up my chat. Let me get it in members only mode for a sec. See what see what the member the member club is saying, and then we will get going. I think horses only go in boats in Bedrock Edition. PewDiePie can't put Jurgen in a boat. <laughs> I yeah. There's a lot of things like tridents, drowned that don't have tridents can drop tridents in Bedrock. Um. What others? There's loads of like really weird differences between Bedrock and normal Minecraft. It's just bizarre. Um, another one is that obviously, yeah, um, you can't. What do you call it? Yeah, that was a great sentence. Vic. Well done. You can't put a horse. Well, we'll see if you can put a horse in a boat. I got the horses in the boat. <laughs> What's well, good, Khabib seven eight six? On job, in the spot, Elmwood Forest, showing up for duty. Golem06, a new member in the chat. There were also some other new members here today. Um, I will give credits to you guys when that time's ready. So I think Kenny was was an admin. Let's see if, we, if I drive the boat into the horse. Does he go on the... So yeah, it must be a Minecraft bedrock thing. Because that definitely gets people really confused. Like I'll even try and push the horse into the boat, which is what I do for any other mob. Just so we know, for future reference, yeah, the horse will not go in the boat. So, okay, I don't feel quite as foolish now. I got the horses in the... <laughs> I got the horses in the back. <laughs> oh, dear. It'd be like that. Okay, back home we go. It looks so pretty underwater. Are those... No, those aren't baby dolphins. They're, they're ugly-looking fish. Ugly-ass-looking fish. Fish-looking dudes. 
Ooh, underwater ravine, perhaps, down there. Could be a place to go mining, down the line. Although, we should probably stick to the edge of the world for that kind of stuff. Get a villager on the way back. Nah, we'll, we'll, you know what? We'll, we'll save that for another day. I want to go and do some enchanting, and then I want to get to bed, because it's nearly 1am in the morning. And I've been tired. It was like 31, 32 degrees during the heat, the peak heat of today. And my goodness... It saps the energy out of you, I'll tell you that much. We've got Jason Wilson, new member in the squad. Um, yeah, one more village and I can make a farm. Yeah, I'll have to look into the logistics of that. Um, I don't know where, where physically I would place that down. Also, I know there's going to be a lot of really annoying stuff where you have to like get beds and light and workstations and bread and all that stuff. It's probably not going to be as simple as it was back in the day. You literally, I would throw two villages in a two-by-two and just throw bread at them until they made more villagers. <laughs> it was a savage time. A savage time indeed. Um, there's a blank map in your chest. Go find that treasure, boy. Ooh. Is there? Is there a blank map? If there is, then that could be a motif. A motif indeed. I'll give it a check. Ah, I think that underwater cave is one I've ended up in before. I think this is Phantom Ace's house here. Hope he doesn't mind me like making a little through through fair. But we gotta get through these lands somehow. Pulse is okay. This has been a very successful mission. Josh needs to add like a, a little water gate that we can go through. But yeah. I, I yeah, it was a two part mission, but my goodness was it worth it. Having our own personal villager ready for action. Ready to give me, like, seven levels. <laughs> what do you mean? We should also make sure our doge is living somewhere a little more. A little more useful. Alright, come on, doge. Come along. Alright, Dequinius and doge. And chill out front. Oh, wait. Horse star. We need to build a stable for horse star. Can't have him living with the cows like this. Dude deserves more respect than that. Okay. And now it is enchantment time. Okay, okay. Do I have a blank map? See, this already leads to a place. Yeah, I think both of these already lead. They lead to the same treasure. Yeah, they both lead to the same treasure, sadly. So they're not blank. So they'll only ever lead to that treasure. I need to go out there and complete these so I can have these up on my wall. That's like my first treasure. But yeah. Ah, see this, see, this would have shown me that the desert links to the sea on the other side. Pretty cool map. I could have, like, a whole room of these, like a little trophy room, like a map treasure room. But, alas, now, my friends, it is time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. And let's see if we can trade this guy, like, even more chicken. Like, Bill I am. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. A master. A master of his trade. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, this is perfect, because I just do that, and it drops me down. Okay, you can go inside. Okay. Like, <laughs> it just, why, why would you do anything else to get XP in this game? This is like unlimited XP. It's broken. It's damn broken. I don't know, like, if this is going to negatively affect the server balancing-wise. I'm slightly concerned. This was not something that I feel like was intended to be. Like, what do you mean? We have so many emeralds. <laughs> Emeraldes. Uh, you can, since 114, you can crouch under slabs to so use that instead of a trapdoor. Apparently, you can cook food in a campfire without coal. If so, if crazy, if true. Extra sand's always appreciated. In fact, you know what? Let's just cook up a bunch of it right now. We got three kelp. Cook it up. Cook it up. Let's grab some extra beef. I think I got some in my my storage cupboards down here. May as well bring all this stuff up. No, feathers, you can stay for now. If I have, like, a villager I can trade everything to, like, I had all this stuff as junk, and now I'm just converting it to pure XP. Robert Merrick, I don't think I did shout out you becoming a member just yet, but I will shout out all the new members at the end of the stream. Appreciate you joining the gang. Alright, so he's maxed out, but we just wait till tomorrow. 
So what else? I can get mutton to him. So I could start a sheep farm. Mutton's a really good deal as well. And he wants more chicken again. <laughs> this is cooked. This is more cooked. This is so cooked. I'm still on 38. <laughs> this is broken. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I, like, I'm actually not sure I even like this. Because it's like, if I get every one of every villager in my house, I will not need to do anything. <laughs> like, I can just trade, and then I can get everything back from them. Wait, I have even more chicken to trade. Like, what do you mean I'm going to be level 40? Chicken trading, what do you mean? I feel ill. And I can trade the beef again. <gasps> uh, just what? How? Who balanced this? And now I can trade the damn chicken again. If you have an unlimited supply of these th things, which I practically do, you will never stop. I'm actually blown away right now. <laughs> I need to build something dummy thick out of emeralds soon just to be like, yeah, look. He wants all the chicken. I can't believe this is a thing. I don't know if we need to, like, nerf this. Like, seriously. Do we need to nerf this? I, I'm level 39. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, we're never going to have a level shortage ever again. I did not... What What did they do in 114? It clearly was not balanced. <laughs> Who at Mojang did this? A Fortune 3 axe. Hello? Wait, does that mean I would get a Fortune 3 pickaxe if I put it in? I should probably check. For logistics sake. Um... One, two, three. That is not how you make a pickaxe. I mean, I'm totally making the most of this now. Emeralds are useless, aren't they? But you, we can use them to buy really good things. Like, I could buy, like, every enchanted book in the game. Every bit of diamond armor. Like, it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. Alright, let's jump out of members only mode to hear what the rest of you think about this. Oh, Fortune 3, that's got to be a cop just for down the line. Yeah, it's definitely a send. <gasps> Bless up. People were like, oh, your enchant table isn't max, so I was getting bad RNG. I literally have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And just to prove right now, because those are people like, the books in the corner don't count. So, okay, so look at this. I just want to do some proving. So, level th 30, max enchant. And everyone's like, oh, but you're getting bad level 30s because these books don't count. So just to, like, demonstrate, um, just to demonstrate, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, so long, see, look, I'll be less than level 30 now, level 28. So that shows that those bookcases, at least one of them counted in the corner. It's just pure RNG. Recently, they did actually nerf enchanting, like, how good the enchants you get are. So if I put these back in, it goes back up to level 30. But sometimes you just get bad level 30s. Like, Efficiency 5, 4, that's a banger. Protection 3, no thanks. Efficiency 4, oh yeah, that's the same thing. Sharpness 3, no thanks. We really want to get Sharpness 4 and get Sharpness 5. Wait, do I want to... So I've got P3. That's... But actually, you know what? We should look at... Sorry to be going back again. I should look at making some more Diamond Legs. If I can get Protection 4, Diamond Legs... That is also a big dub. I may need to go and do some more diamond mining soon as well. We're grinding through the supplies. Okay. Alright. Fire protection 3, that's a nope. And then... I think I'll go for a protection book, but let's actually see what we get on the book. Oh, I'm breaking 3, that's fire. That's absolute fire. That has to be done. Oh, I'm breaking through on the legs. Protection 4 helmet. I think I need that, yeah. Just protection 4, but we've got the unbreaking 3 book, luckily. Oh, efficiency 4. That's very nice. For 3 levels, efficiency 4. That's very nice. 
Knock back two. The cursed enchant. Um, protection three. No, I need protection four. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take efficiency four on the shovel. Because we're going to be... Ooh! Hey, love to see that. Love to see that. Okay, we've got a cool looking shovel. And then we're XP's out. But all I have to do... I just, I just have to sleep. He's stolen my damn bed. I'll sleep to help Choco out. Um, yeah, we're, we're XP'd out, but we're looking good on this on this set. Like, <laughs> I could come back with 50 levels like next time. All I have to do is, like, when I farm now, I get even more for my money. You know, I may as well, while I'm down levels, combine these two. Three levels is a deal. It's a steal. So I just need protection for legs. I need to get a protection three book. Um, the crossbow will wait upon. We need a sharpness four sword, and then that's a, and fire aspect sword. Um, we've got a spare fortune pickaxe for the culture. Probably put that downstairs. I think this axe is no longer required. Goodbye, sweet axe. <gasps> Imagine he snuck out then and just ran. He made a break for it. No, he's just admiring the view. He'd be miring that view. Um, this is a spare diamond shovel. I'll probably salvage that with repair down the line. Just leave that in my junk chest. Got this good one. Uh, maybe an efficiency four book. Ooh, I'm breaking could be good on the shovel, actually, because they break really fast. Maybe we look for it. You know what, actually, let's keep enchanting that, because if we get unbreaking as an option on that, we would take that. So let's leave that up here. That's still to be enchanted. The axe we'll keep working on. Yeah, we're all good in the hood. That has been a very, very successful completion of the mission. Get an ender chest. Yeah, that would be a good good idea. Boots still need unbreaking. Okay, so we need to get that. Um, you can't sell emeralds to the shop anymore. They removed that like about, about a week ago. Um, I should not be cooking any more of this. Oh, look at that. XP. And XP. I'm glad I got that on my low XP threshold. Everything looking fantastic in the business. Probably, I mean, if I just farm for like half an hour, I think next episode I could come back with enough like 40 levels and then get going i have a protection three book apparently oh cool um all right yeah everything was successful good times ahead and we have bill i am joining the series he'll love to see it we nearly left him for dead but we brought him home and he came through with the goods all righty now let me uh let me carry on going through my uh, my super chats and new members thanking all of you and then i'll see the rest of you tomorrow at the usual time for another episode of how to minecraft where i think we may we'll get our tools some more enchants and then we'll start working on the underwater section of my base where i can get like more space to work machinery start like an armory get an ender chest all that good stuff very exciting times should be all good in the hood okay thank you big gamer one two three for becoming a member appreciate you thank you alan fry with the 50 years czar he said i'm trying to build a server i was looking to incorporate the mechanic of shops and economy any uh, chance of telling you which plugins we use? We actually had them custom coded uh, by the dev team here. So I don't think there are actually plugins out yet. Although maybe, maybe now, but a week and a half ago, there were not plugins for the latest version. That's the struggle. That's why stuff is not crazy custom yet. Just can I say again, damn, Speedy and Sides, Sides, Sides? Speedy and Sides house is looking nice. You do love to see it. Uh, thank you, Robin, Robert Myrick, for becoming a member. Thank you, Jason Wilson, for becoming a new member. Thank you, Son of Knives Gamer, for becoming a new member. Thank you, Golmo6, for becoming a new member. The membership squad, over 100 and a bit strong right now. We love that. We love that. Thank you, Oliver Oak, with the New Zealand $5. He said, villagers restock about twice a day by standing on a smoker or workspace block. Okay, good to know. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. He's jumped on the smoker there, so I guess he's restocked. So, all I need to do is, like, have all the blocks up there. That could be my village. To be fair, what I may do... I don't know. You know, you know what? That floor can be the villager trading floor. It's been a, it's, I don't really need it for anything else. I can enchant and trade with villagers up there. Thank you, Harry Raymond with the five pound. He said, check out Mumbo Jumbo's Hermitcraft 6 villager trading system. Could help you out with how you want to make one in the future for yourself. I will check it out, but it may be disgracefully OP. I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we just kind of have to leave it. This is Minecraft 1.14. Thank you, Luxo with the five dollars. He said, if you get another villager, they socialize and trade with each other to re-unlock his trades. Even more overpowered, bruh. Thank you, Oliver Oak, for the extra $5. Thank you, James Brannigan, with the five hand set. If you trade once with villagers, they can't change trades. Josh is maxing out trades. Drop him, and breeding is so much easier. Rip who? 
Um, it's fine. He's a really good... I don't mind if he's locked on those trades. Like, rotten, like Raw Flash is so easy for me to get. I don't even want to get a uh, Fire Aspect Sword for farming mobs. Like, this one is perfect right now. And thank you... Um, what else we got? Thank you for the $5. Dakilo70 says, I have to eat dinner. I'm sad. And by the way, donating again. Love you, Hattie and Vic. You're amazing. How, also, how do you become a member on an iPhone? I'm not sure. Maybe just try it on desktop. Just log in on desktop, become a member, and then on phone you should be a member too. Thank you, Backad Wilson. He said, please try spruce wood doors instead of dark oak doors. They do not look as nice. They look like farmyard doors. Like, this is dark oak, like, like ornate looking, nice golden handles. This is a spruce door. It looks like a stable door, like little, little metal things. No. No, we live, we live the upper class life up here. Up in the higher levels. The Kuinius has different colored eyes. That's sick. I don't know if that's rare. Thank you, Patricia Allen, with the five dollars. You said example not being a good example. <laughs> but um, tss, going on what we said earlier on in stream. Thank you, Gareth Hines Jr. with the five pound. He said thank you. You do much for being one of the greatest YouTubers ever, and keep up the amazing work. Thank you, Gareth. I will do. Thank you, Colm Lennon, with the five euros. He said hello from one of Jerome's mods. Hello, welcome to the Wild West. It is my stream. Um, thank you, Colby Scova, with the twenty dollars. He said hey, Vic, still serious about that insta follow? Hey. <laughs> And he said, hope Gamescom was dope. Yeah, it was so dope. I was only there for a day, though. Wish I could have stayed longer. The How to Minecraft grind was key. Thank you, Sergeant Gimlinio, with the 100 Norwegian credits. He said, thank you for introducing me to How to Minecraft. It is amazing to see the feeling of community between you creators. I've just started my own YouTube journey. Hopefully, I'll be able to do something like this one day. Thanks. Appreciate that. And yeah, I'm loving it, too. Like, even now, in the middle of the night, there's a bunch of people just out here hustling. Thank you, James Brannigan, with the £10. He said, I've been watching you since the factions, but I'm happy you've gone back to Minecraft. Fortnite revealed your sweaty side, but now you're back to your derpy self that we all loved. Miss Diamonds, by the way. Not today, I didn't, but thank you. And the sentiment is appreciated. Thank you, Blaze Tinical with the $5. He said, great dob, Vic. I love your content. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, Ian Wilder with the five Swiss francs. He said, ever going to visit you? <laughs> ever going to visit Zurich? I could give you a tour if so. No plans. I've been to uh, Geneva. I love Geneva, but never made it to Zurich. But I've heard it's a lovely city, and I would love to visit one day. Hopefully, I will be able to and do a meet-up or something. Thank you, Michael Dand, with the £10. He said, hi, Vic. I've been watching every day and the rest of Sidemen for four years. Keep up the good work, and will there be more Minecraft vids when How to Minecraft 6 is finished? Yes, indeed. Um, I want to start some more series while it's rolling, like late series. I want to get another UHC going on. I want to do a Pixel on Island tournament series. Um, I want to continue doing Cosmic Sky Prisons. So much, so much potential. Thank you, Laura Dawn with the five dollars. He said, "Bob the Butcher, can Vic save him?" Bob the Butcher, yes, he can. It's not Bob the Butcher. It's Bill. I am. <laughs> he's, he's he's a worldwide phenomenon. Thank you, Gigi from Fiji, for becoming a member. Thank you, Oclap, for becoming a member. Thank you, Carlos De La Rosa with the five dollars. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you, Dude, with the five dollars. He said, "You already have a beautiful whole house, but you should build a more effective house." That's the idea of the underground base. It's going to be like a more effective machine-based ugly looking, like, get some work done spot, where this is, like, the nice, pretty part of it. But, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dakiller07, for the extra $5 super chat. Thank you, Score Supio with the $5 super chat. We got that at the start. Thank you very much. So, if there's any new ones since then, thank you, Gunner Ripplinger with the $5. He said, when is Sky happening? I'll be on Cosmic Sky, most likely tomorrow. Tune in for that. I'll see you then. Thank you, Jason Akana with the $10 super chat. Appreciate you. And, uh... Um, Alan Fry said, any chance you can give a starting point for plugins? I have no idea. The developers do the development stuff. I do not know. And uh, thank you for the extra super chats, Alan Fryer. My goodness, that is an unreal amount of support in the members and super chat department. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. I'll subscribe. I will subscribe. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss some live streams. I'll be live at the usual time tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. on the east coast of Australia, uh, America. Midday in the west coast of America, I think about like 5 to 7 a.m. in Australia. See you all then. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Big dubs in the chat today. Peace out. And I will be playing Minecraft Monday on Monday as well. I don't have a teammate yet. I need to work out who that is. But should be dope. Thanks again, guys. I need to grab some food and some sleep. Thanks again. And peace out. I actually missed it. It came in afterwards. Uh, thank you, Big Gamer123, for becoming a new member. Appreciate you. I didn't spot that there in the in the in the new refreshings. Thank you, brother. And I'll see you on my next stream. Peace.